Cheri. Bao. Welcome to lesson 20 of the art of Taekwondo. Let's warm up. Get into fighting stance and jumping back and forward just like that. Shifting the weight from the lead foot to the rear foot and back to the lead. This way, if the weight is on the back, you can give it a lead leg. If the weight is in the front, you can kick with the with the rear leg. Switch. We're gonna be switching, jumping and switching. It's a nice and easy warm up. Here we go. You can do it, keep going. It's nice and easy, don't jump too high. Small moves. This way you can kick at any time, any point. Jump. Keep going, switch. Keep your hands up, but Arms not tense, loose. We're just warming up. Switch. Keep going. All right, good, kicks. Here we go, kick, put it down and bring it back. You're not working on a technique. This is just a warm up. We're just warming our legs up, our whole body up, getting it ready for what's to come. Nice and easy, kick, bring it back, bring it up. You don't need to kick too high. Just at a comfortable height. We didn't stretch yet, so we don't overdo it. Just kicking, that's all we're doing. Make sure to breathe, always breathe. Don't lean back too much. Pivot on the standing foot. Don't worry about technique too much, but just do it comfortably. That's all. Keep going. Keep kicking. Here we go. We're going to do squats next. One more. Here we go. Squats. Get in a squat position. Arms up and you go down. One. Exhale. On coming up. Three. And four. Five. You can do it. Keep going. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one more, thirteen, just because. Push ups, here we go. Hands on an angle, 45 degree, good form. Inhale on down, exhale on up. Inhale on down, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, two more, inhale, exhale, and inhale, and exhale, stand up, let's mix it up, knee up, and to the front, foot to the back, just like this, you're switching your legs, so you slide the rear leg, when the knee goes forward, Foot goes back, just like that. Later on, you can do it more rhythmically, almost like knee strikes. Or do it slowly. One, two, it's up to you. But I like to do it a little faster. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, here we go, crunches <coughs> on your back. On your back, on the back, the back, and sit up, sit up to me. One, and two, exhale, and up. Three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Keep going, and nine, and ten, good. Last one, and we're gonna, we're gonna do black plank. Get in the plank position, elbows down, <coughs> hip up, here we go, head up. And stay here, breathe. <sighs> Breathing. Inhale, exhale, hold it as long as you can. Inhale, keep going, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. A little bit longer, inhale, exhale. Then three, two, 
One. Good job. Stand up. Let's do deep breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Good work. Let's stretch. Head rotation. Two. Set. Ne, other direction. Tul. Dur. Set. Ne. Head turns to your left. Na. Tul. Set. Ne. To your right. Na. Tul. Set. Ne. Chin down. Na. Tul. Set. Ne. Chin up. Na. Tul. Sit. Ne. Ear to the shoulder. Na. Tur. Set. Ne. Other way. Na. Tur. Set. Ne. Shoulder rotation forward. Na. Tur. Set. Ne. Backwards. Na. Tur. Big circle. Set. Ne. Shoulder stretch. Hand up. Other hand under and over. Na. Tur. Set. Ne. Other hand. Other way. Under and over. Na. Tur. Set. Ne. Let's warm up our wrists. Hand up and flip. Grab with your thumb and rotate. Na. Tur. Set. Ne. Back. Tur. Tur. Set. Ne. Other hand. Na. Tur. Set. Ne. Back. Tur. Tur. Set. Ne. Now bend your wrists. Here we go. Elbows down. Na. Tur. Set. Ne. Other way. Tur. Tur. Set. Ne. Good. Now let's do a little counter stretch for the shoulder. Hand against the wall and twist and turn. Na. Tur. Set. Ne. Other hand against the wall. Tur. Tur. Set. Ne. Good. Now let's do uh, hip rotation. Na. Tur. Set. Ne. Other way. Tur. Tur. Set. Ne. Bend your knees. I'm gonna do from the side. Hands on your shoulders. I mean on your knees. Shoulder down and look up towards the ceiling. Na. Tur. Set. Ne. This is back twist. Other way. Na. Tur. Set. Ne. Let's warm up the knees. Feet together. Knee rotation. Na. Tur. Set. Ne. Other way. Tur. Tur. Set. Ne. Now twice down, twice up. Here we go. Na. Tur. Set. Ne. Tur. Tur. Set. Ne. Set. Tur. Set. Ne. One more. Ne. Tur. Set. Ne. Ankle rotation. Here we go. Left. Na. Tur. Set. Ne. Other way. Tur. Tur. Set. Ne. Other ankle. Na. Tur. Set. Ne. Other way. Tur. Tur. Set. Ne. Now a little stretch for a calf muscle. Here we go. Na. Tur. Set. Ne. Other way. Other leg. Tur. Tur. Set. Ne. Flip. Na. Tur. Set. Ne. Other one. Tur. Tur. Set. Ne. Good work. Let's sit down. So sit down, find yourself enough space. We're gonna begin with butterfly. So bring your feet together. Bring it as close to you as you can. Here we go, inhale. Straighten your back, exhale. Pull yourself down, inhale. Straighten, exhale, pull, inhale. Straighten out, exhale, and pull. Good, now one leg forward. Here we go. Use the belt if you have one. 
If you don't, just find one. Loop it over your foot, and here we go. Inhale, back straight, one leg forward bend. Exhale, pull and bend forward. Inhale, back straight, exhale, pull. Inhale, back straight, exhale, pull. And inhale, back straight, exhale, pull. Other leg, switch, loop over this foot with your belt. Inhale, back straight, exhale, pull. Inhale, back straight, exhale, pull. Inhale, back straight, exhale, pull, and inhale, back straight, exhale, pull, both feet forward, loop over both feet, with your belt, here we go, inhale, back straight, exhale, pull, inhale, back straight, exhale, pull, should feel uncomfortable behind the kneecaps, it's okay. Inhale, back straight, exhale, pull, inhale, back straight, and exhale, pull. Now open up, nice and wide, push yourself forward as much as you can. One hand behind, loop over one foot, the other hand holds the belt. Here we go, inhale, Push from behind, straighten out, exhale, pull. Inhale, push, straighten out, exhale, pull. Inhale, push and straighten out, exhale, pull. And inhale, push and straighten out, and exhale, pull. Let's do either foot, here we go. Loop it over, right hand behind the back, Inhale, push, straighten out, exhale, pull. Inhale, push and straighten out, exhale, pull over. Inhale, push and straighten out, exhale, pull. Inhale, straighten out and exhale, pull. Now open up even more, as much as you can. Bring your hands to the middle. Now we're gonna just wiggle side to side. Inhale, and exhale. You bring your hands a little further out. Inhale, straighten your back. Exhale, hands further out. Inhale, straighten your back. Exhale, down. Inhale, and exhale. Down. Here we go. <clears throat> Good job. Spinal twist. One leg down, the other one over. Hand over your knee, the other hand from behind. Inhale, straighten out, exhale. Twist and look back. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And inhale, and exhale. Good, switch sides, outer leg, outer foot over, hand over, hand behind, and here we go, inhale, and exhale. Twist and open up, inhale, push, straighten out, exhale, twist, inhale, Push, straighten out, exhale, twist, and inhale. Push and straighten out, and exhale, twist. And slowly release. Good. Let's stand up. Lastly, we're gonna do some dynamic stretching. Fighting stance, take a couple steps back. Here we go, two steps forward and bring your leg up like an angst kick. One, two, up. One, two, back. Again, one, two, up. One, two, 
back one two up one two back switch three times each side one two up one two back one two up go easy on this one back you're just stretching you're not kicking don't overdo it switch now we're gonna bring it inside out and slap the hand here we go one two up one two back two one two hit one two back three one two hit one two back switch here we go one two hit one two back two one two hit one two back and three one two hit one two back switch now in and out here we go one two hit one two back one two hit one two back last one one two hit one two back switch one two hit one two back two one two hit one two back last one one two hit one two back bottle inhale exhale we're done with our stretching let's review set two techniques the lower body Fighting stand, jimmy. Hup. Take a couple of steps back. Basic footwork. Forward. Forward. Back. Back. Right. Right. Left. Left. Jim switch. Forward. Forward. Back. Back. Left. Left. Right. Right. Jim switch. Good. Take a couple of steps. Give yourself enough space. We're gonna do front kick, rear leg. Here we go. Put it down and bring it back. And bring it back. Set. Bring it back. Net. Bring it back. Switch. Here we go. Bring it back. Set. Net. Jim switch. Lead leg front kick. Hana. Hup. Door. Hup. Set. Hup. Net. Hup. Jim switch. Hana. Hup. Door. Hup. Set. Hup. Net. Hup. Jim switch. Now, rear leg push kick. Hana. Hup. And bring it back. Door. Hup. Bring it back. Set. Hup. Net. Hup. Here we go. Jim switch. Hana. Hup. Door. Hup. Set. Hup. Net. Hup. Uh, Jim switch. Lead leg push kick. Hana. Hup. Door. Hup. Set. Hup. Net, hop, jump switch, na, hop, door, hop, set, hop, net, hop, jump switch, now axe kick, rear leg axe kick first, na, hop, and bring it back, door, hop, set, hop, net, hop, jump switch, na. Switch, lead leg, axe kick, Hana, hup, door, hup, set, hup, net, hup, jump switch, Hana, hup, door, hup, set, hup, net, hup, jump switch, roundhouse kick, here we go, remember this kick. It's a new kick that we learned. Na, hup. Put it down and bring it back. Door, hup. 
Set. Hup. Net. Hup. Jump switch. Hana. Hup. Door. Hup. Set. Hup. Net. Hup. Good. Jump switch. Lead leg roundhouse kick. Na. Hup. Door. Hup. Set. Hup. Net. Hup. Jump switch. Na. Hup. Door. Hup. Set. Hup. Net. Hup. Paro. Take a couple of breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Give yourself enough space. We're gonna do tiger form. Here we go. Chip. Chip. Tiger form. She jack. Get back to your spot. Take a deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Good work. So today is an exciting day because we're gonna add two more pieces of footwork to our ever-growing footwork arsenal. I know it's been a while. I will show you the basic steps in the beginning. These are a little more advanced. So the first one I'm gonna show you is called a fast step. Now the way to execute a fast step, you get into a fighting stance. And what you do, you bring your rear foot halfway towards your lead foot. So you narrow your stance by half. And from there, you're gonna bring your lead foot out to normalize that stance. So this is how it looks from this side. It's very simple. You just bring your rear foot halfway in, and then lead foot, out in the same distance. But when you do it quickly, it looks like this. And now you advanced a, uh, around the foot of the distance towards your opponent. It's a little harder to see than regular footsteps and you cover more distance. So for example, if you're doing basic steps, you know, just moving one step at a time, it might be too slow and too predictable or it's not covering enough distance. If you need to catch your opponent quickly, you can do basic step or fast step. Fast step covers a lot more distance. So as you do basic, basic, boom, fast step. Now you just covered a lot more distance and you threw them off guard. So again, in a fast step, you bring your rear foot in halfway, lead foot out. So it looks like this, just like that. Make sure not to jump up and down. If you're jumping up and down like that, it becomes visually predictable. As well as, you know, it's not practical for you to do that. So keep your knees bent, nice and soft, just like that. Just bring your rear foot in, lead foot out, nice and quick. Now you can use the same fast step to move back as well. All you do is reverse the order. So when you move back, you bring your lead foot halfway in and rear foot out to stabilize the stance. So again, lead foot in, rear foot out. Lead foot in, rear foot out. Again, moving back, in, out, in, out. So this is, let's say someone's targeting your your leg, right? If they're trying to throw a uh, low kick, boom. Just get that leg out of the way. You can also, in that kind of situation, just to reinforce it, you can also just step back, that works too. But for this purpose, I'm showing you how to do the fast step moving forward and moving back. So moving back, you just reverse the order, lead foot first in, and then rear foot out. And this is where I showed you the cross punch variation, remember? 
step and throw the cross punch. So it's the same thing, but instead of opening your stance by stepping diagonally, you're just stepping back into the regular fighting stance. So let's practice it together. Let's do it a hundred times. And then I'm going to teach you the next piece of footwork. So let's simplify it. All we're going to be doing is moving forward and moving back. So one fast step forward, one fast step back. Switch after 10. Here we go. Follow me. I'm going to do nice and slow. One. Just like that. Now back. Two. Three. Four. Follow me. Five. Keep your knees bent. Don't jump up. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Now switch legs. Here we go. Same thing. Eleven. Twelve. One forward, one back. Thirteen. Our calf's gonna burn today. Fourteen. It's footwork day. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Keep going. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Good. Jump switch. Now I'm gonna do from this side, just so that you can see. Ready? Here we go. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. 23, 24, 25, nice and soft, movement, 26, 27, keep breathing, don't hold your breath, 28, 29, it's like working on anything else, 30, and switch, here we go, 31, 32, Make sure you're stable, 33. Good balance, 34. That's where you wanna keep your knee bent, 35. Help with balance as well, 36. 37. 38. 39. 40. Good, now I'm gonna do it facing this way. 41. 42, keep following, keep doing with me, 43, 44, so you're moving forward, you're pushing off with your rear foot, 35, 45, yeah, then you're moving back, you're pushing off with your lead foot, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, jump switch, here we go, 51, retreating, push off with the lead foot, 52, advancing, push off with the rear foot, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, nice and easy, 59, 60. This is just you practicing. Now I'm going to do back and forward again. Left leg forward. 61. 62. 63. 64. Keep going. 65. 66. I know your calves are burning. That's alright. 67. They're going to burn more. 68. 69, 70, keep the heel of the rear foot off the floor, like it's sitting on a spring, ready to launch forward, 71, 72, 73, 74, keep going, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. Now I'm gonna face this way. This is very 
important, very useful piece of footwork that, uh, that you're gonna find out later on. That was 80, right. 81. 82. 83. 84. 85. 86. 87. 88. 89, 90, gym switch, here we go, last 10, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, Good, shake it off, relax it, maybe do some knee rotations. If your knee is hurting, if you're feeling a little stress in your knee, because you might, this is low knee bent, soft uh, kind of movement. So it adds a lot of stress onto your knee. But that's all right, we're training for that. All right, so the next step, the second piece of footwork that I'm gonna show you actually builds on the first one. So let's say they're really getting away from you. Like they're really just almost running backwards but while maintaining their fighting stance. So you might not even be able to get them with a fast step. So in that case, you do a long step. And all that you do for a long step, you add one piece of footwork. You step forward and then you execute the fast step. So that's all there is to the long step. It's very simple, very easy. Step forward and then fast step. You're just stepping forward. But what it's very important, what that single step forward does, it provides you with two things. Number one, it breaches a larger gap between you and your opponent. Number two, it also gives you an opportunity to stop. If you're doing regular fast step, once your foot is halfway, this is slightly less balanced stance and less efficient to throw kicks from. So it's hard to, you can't stop it from this position. You can only reverse it. So from here, you can only walk back, but then you're just giving them an opportunity to attack. With a long step, you can step forward, create a little gap, check what they're doing. For example, if you step forward and they're not moving, then obviously they're too close for you to do the long step. So from then, if you step forward, they're not moving, boom, you can throw a kick right there. But let's say if you step forward and they're moving, boom, that's a fast kick that we're gonna learn later. For now, just focus on the steps. But that's one example of how you can apply this step in a practical uh, situation. So, all that you need to focus, long step, you're just adding one step forward. Then you're retreating in a long step. It is, it's exactly the same thing. First you do retreating fast step, foot in, foot out, and then you step back with your lead leg. Get it out of the way of your opponent's attack. So let's say you move back and then they're still throwing a low kick aimed at your thigh or on, at your leg, just get it out of the way and step back and you're switching, essentially you're switching stances with this one. So because this is the longest step, I'm gonna be doing it sideways. So from here, get yourself into fighting stance, get yourself enough distance to work on it. We're gonna do it slowly. We're gonna do it, uh, you know what, let's do it a hundred times. Let's work a little, okay? Here we go, fast step, I mean long step. One, good, now retreating. Two, three, four, try to follow me. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, we're gonna switch legs and do the other side. So same thing, here we go, give you enough, yourself enough space. 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, switch legs. Now, here's a little quickly. After you step forward, you can do the other way, reverse long step. You could step back and do a fast step, that's all right. But I find it that stepping back takes more time and more effort than it is to do this. And after you do the reverse pass step, your momentum is already moving back. So it makes it very easy to bring that leg back in addition to doing reverse pass step. So I find that by doing the reverse pass step first and then stepping back is more energy efficient and faster than stepping back first and then doing a fast reverse fast step. Just a little note in case you were curious. So that's 20 down, let's keep going. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, good, switch legs. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Let's switch. Let's keep going. I know you're Caps are on fire. Your balls of the feet are probably on fire too. It's quite all right. Let's keep going. 40 down. 41. 42. 43. 44. 45. 46. 47. 48. Keep going, 49, 50, good, switch legs, here we go halfway, we can do it, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, good, jump switch, let's keep going, 40 more, 60, down, 61, 62, 63, you can do it, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, good, switch, here we go, 71, 72, 73, 74, maybe I'll slow down a little bit for you, 75, 76, slower, 77, 78, but keep it low. 79, 80, switch legs. Here we go, 20 more, you can do it. Last stretch, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, check, and go, 88, 89, check, 
and go. 90, two legs, last 10, here we go. 91, 92, 93, two, go. 94, 95, check, go. 96, 97, check, go. 98, 99, check, go. And 100. Nice, paro, deep breathing, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Good work. All right, are your caps are burning? I know mine are, don't lie to me. But let's give them a rest. Let's sit down into brief meditation. So let's meditate. Sit down comfortably, back straight, chin slightly down. Close your eyes. Now I want you to inhale deeply. When you inhale, make sure the air goes to your stomach and your stomach rises. Then the air flows into your chest and your chest rises. When you exhale, reverse the order. The air leaves the chest, the chest collapses. Then the air exits your stomach and your stomach follows. Deep inhale to your stomach, then to your chest. Exhale out of your chest, then out of your stomach. Deep, long, controlled breaths. Don't try to focus on thinking, focus on breathing. If the thoughts come, let them come and pass like clouds. Don't try to force the thoughts away. That will only distract you. Focus on the breathing. Inhale. Into your stomach. Then into your chest. Exhale out of your chest. Then out of your stomach. Inhale. And exhale. Long, deep, controlled breaths. Keep your back straight, but don't tense your body up. Inhale to your stomach. Your stomach rises. Continue inhaling to your chest. Your chest rises. Exhale out of your chest. Your chest collapses. Exhale out of your stomach. Your stomach collapses. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Slow, controlled breaths. Inhale, feel the air coming through your nostrils and your throat filling up your lungs. Feel warm air emptying your lungs through your throat and your nostrils, leaving your body. Inhale, cold air comes in, 
fills your body up. Exhale, warm air escapes and leaves your body. Inhale and exhale, long, deep, controlled breaths. Feel the air flowing through your body. Inhale to your stomach and to your chest. Exhale out of your chest, then out of your stomach. Last inhale. And on exhale, open your eyes slowly. Good work. We are done with our meditation. Let's stand up. Good work. Now that you're calmed down and fully re-oxygenated, let's talk a little bit about what we've learned today. We added two more pieces of footwork into our uh, growing footwork arsenal. So instead of just knowing the basic footwork, forward, back, left, right, now you can add a, um, you can call it chasing footwork, uh, the fast step and the long step. Remember the benefits of a long step is that that little step forward, that gives you enough time to cut it out and not do the fast step, not to continue with a long step if you see that your opponent is not reacting. Uh, the fast step is great for covering distance. So if the basic step moving forward is not enough or each time you move forward, they move back like in a mirror drill, which is a natural tendency for them to do it, then you can use the fast step to catch them faster, to cut them off. Because fast step is probably roughly equivalent of two or three basic forward steps. So keep in mind all the um, nuances in doing these types of footwork. They're not too difficult to get, but you need to do it enough times to feel balanced at doing it. Uh, I think stopping the footwork is the hardest part, making sure that you're placing your feet at the right distance, but your stance is wide enough, but not too wide, but wide enough for you, your body to be balanced. So practice the fast step and the long step on your own or with me, just replay the lesson over and over again until you get it. But I know you'll get it. It's not that difficult, but it will require practice. Remember, almost, uh, there's probably there's almost nothing in life that is easy yet worth acquiring or worth doing. So if it's hard, if it's difficult, it's probably worth it. So keep at it. I know you'll get there. I know you'll keep improving. Type in all that you've done into your ME skills application. And I'll see you next time. Let's end this lesson. Cheerio. Bow.